Hey guys, welcome back to Pot to Mama Bear. Today we are going to be doing this cute little washcloth teddy bear, but I'm going to show you how to do one from start to finish. So, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these on Pinterest or even um, YouTube or the Facebook Reels. Um, anywhere that has videos, they probably have had these. And I just want to show you guys how to make them. This one doesn't look... Uh, doesn't look too cute, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how I make these. So all you're going to need is some yarn. This is like a teal color maybe. Um, some little rubber bands. A 5mm uh, crochet hook. Some scissors. And of, co of course your yarn needle. So we're going to go ahead and get started by making a square um, a square washcloth type thing. So we're going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 40. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now I'm going to go ahead and chain the forty and then I'll come back and show you guys. Okay, so I have a forty right here. This is a chain of forty. Not counting the one that's on here. The um, This is actually the 40th one. Okay, so anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and just go into not the first one, but the second one. And we are going to just do single crochets. And you're going to do this all the way up the row. Get some more yarn. Okay, so this is all you're doing for this row, is you're just going to um, do 40 single crochets into this chain. And then we're going to go ahead and come back and show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so I'm almost at the last two chains. Or I'm at the last two chains, sorry. I'm going to just go ahead and continue... And then we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're just going to be working um, double crochet, or sorry, not double crochets, single crochets, until you get to row 40. Um, I do not like going into this one because it makes it look bulky on the side. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into that next one. And we're just going to keep doing this until we hit row 40. I do want to let you know it is okay if the um, work does curl up because it's going to eventually straighten out that way, uh, or eventually straightens out when you add more rows. So it is okay if it, it curls up. So I'm going to go ahead and keep, or uh, continue, uh, continue to do this until row 40. And we will be back to, so that way you guys can see what row 40 looks like. I'll do a few more stitches here with you guys. Okay, so I will come back when I have all 40 rows done, so that way you guys could see what the square washcloth looks like. Okay guys, uh, here is another uh, color of the square that I have, I've done um, 
Now I went ahead and quickly made this one, uh, I think it was last night. But all we're going to do is you're going to take whatever side you want and you're going to just roll it about halfway. I forgot where I seen this at, but I did see it from another creator. Um, if I can find her video, I will link it down below. Actually, I think I seen this on Pinch just. So I will try to find it and I will link it in the description box. But I did find this on Pinch just. It's not my idea at all. Okay. So anyways, we're going to take it. I just wanted to let you guys know. Okay. So anyways, we're going to take it and we're going to just twist it and then lay it down just like that. Okay. So you don't want the legs and the arms to be completely flush or um, even because you want it to have the appearance of... A little teddy bear so what I do first is I take two of those little elastic rubber bands and I go ahead and I just put it on there once that way it gives me uh, it holds it together but it also gives me enough room so I can um, make the little teddy bear okay so now it doesn't really look, well, it kind of looks like a teddy bear, but not too much. Um, but I did just put the arms down by its side. And then I just like to go through and grab these little ends. And put them like that. And then I go ahead and I take two more of those little rubber bands. And I only use one for each ear. If these are for a little one, um, you might not want to uh, put the eyes on here. It's completely up to you. If you do, let us know how that looks or um, send us a picture so we know how it looks with the eyes. Um, but yeah, I would love to see that. <laughs> okay, so then I just take the other rubber band and I wrap it around twice like that. And then I'm gonna take a different color yarn. Let me see what I have. Now this is up to you what you guys wanna do with this. You guys can make it your own or you guys can, uh, well, I mean, of course it's gonna be your own, but what I'm trying to say, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the end of this right here so that way I could cut it because it is from two different things of yarn. Okay, so you can just simply t leave it like this or you can make um, a quick chain. Let me grab my crochet hook. You could take, um, you know, make a cute little chain, which I'm going to do right here. And I think I'm going to do about probably 50. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, Forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-nine, thirty, one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty
47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, so now I'm gonna crochet actually 51 that way. When I pull this through, I don't lose any print. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go around the, the neck of the teddy bear and then cross it in the back. And then um, you might need a little bit longer one depending on how you want this to look but I'm just leaving it at 50 and I'm gonna do a cute little bow on the neck It's more of like a little side bow looking thing. And I'm going to cut off a little bit of this extra that I have here. And that's how I make these cute little, um, little teddy bears. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that way you guys could see some cute little stuff being made and you guys will know how to make it too. Uh, if you guys see anything else that you guys want us to do on this channel, go ahead and let us know and we will get those out as soon as possible. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and we will see you in our next video. Bye.